Wahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh. So it's a new year now, and um, from Base of Sikhi, we're going to give you guys a new series. And it's going to be called 52 Weeks, 52 Hukams. So if anyone's ever read the 52 Hukams or heard about them, then you know it's 52 of them, and that's quite a lot to go through in one day and try to apply them all. So for you guys, we're going to release one video every single week going through these Hukams. Now the word Hukam actually means a command or order. So this is something Guru Gobi Siji Maharaj gave to us before they left their physical body. So Guru Bani, in Guru Nanda Ji's Bani, in Siri Japji Sahib, they say, Hukumara Jai Chalana, Nanaka Likhyana. So walk in the way of the Hukum of the Guru. Hukumara Jai Chalana. Walk in the will of the Hukum. What Guru Sahib is telling us to do, their command. So now, if you look at the history behind the 52 Hukums, why Guru Gobi Siji gave them to us, we can actually go a little bit back in time to Guru Sahib now goes to Nandir, which is a place where Guru Sahib now rests. And when they come to this place, a Pathan comes to visit Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj. And this Pathan has been sent by Vazid Khan. And he's quite worried right now because he's seen that Guru Gobind Singh Ji and the Emperor at the time, Bahadur Shah, have become great friends. And this seems like a threat to him. So he sends Pathan to go and assassinate Guru Gobind Singh Ji. And this Pathan keeps coming into the Hazuri of Guru, Go Guru Sahib Ji. And you know, they build quite a good relationship. Guru Sahib Ji keeps giving him wealth, a lot of ton, a lot of money. They gave him a guitar, a type of weapon as well. And they have this great relationship. And it comes to a point now where they're going to try and assassinate Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. They come outside where Guru Gobind Singh Ji is staying. And the Sikhs at the time do Sodar. So they're reading Rera Sahib. They do Ardas, Benti, and they leave for their homes. And there comes a point where there's no Perada, no God, Avan, and this. Pathan makes their way into Guru Gobind Singh Ji's tent and with the guitar that they're blessed by Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj they actually stab them in the ab abdomen region and when they stab them in the stomach Guru Sahib Ji gets up straight away and with their weapon they stab them back in the abdomen and they kill them in one blow Guru Sahib Ji calls out to the Sikhs to see if there's anyone around and many of the Guru Sikhs come inside the tent and some of the Pais and Tok Singh actually comes as well and they can see the blood gushing out of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj and the whole body is covered in blood and they get some of the things together and they actually stitch up that wound of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj and they say to Maharaj, Maharaj look what's happened right now look what's happened to your body we know that these Pathans are always trouble but how come you let them come into the Hazuri and Guru Sajina Charity class says that everything's in God's hands and they actually send a letter to Bahadur Shah who is the emperor at the time and they send one of their best surgeons who's actually British as well to come and stitch up that wound properly for Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj so much time passes now and Bahadur Shah actually sends another messenger to see Guru Gobind Singh Ji to see how they're doing and to ask for mafia and let them know that they had no involvement in what happened. And when this messenger comes to the Hazuri of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj, they actually look around and they see these weapons being displayed. And within these weapons they can see a big bow that's not been strong yet. And they're thinking that what's the point of having this bow? No one will be able to actually string this bow. It's just there for show basically. And Guru Sahib being under the job, you know, like everything what people are thinking, they see this, they see what they're thinking, and Maharaj himself actually strings that bow. And Kavi Sintok Sinji actually writes that bow is so powerful that when Guru Sahib used it in battle, that one hour pierced through like 10 enemies at the same time. That's how powerful this bow was. And Guru Sahib actually strings it themselves very quickly and very easily as well. But by doing this, putting a lot of effort, and that wound that was actually stitched up now actually opens up again and the blood comes gushing out. And this time the Sangat are really shocked again. But Guru Sahib says that I'm not gonna, we can stitch you up now but I'm not gonna stitch you up properly. This is the time that I'm gonna leave my physical body. So Guru Maharaj gets ready to leave their physical body. At that last moment when they're on their horse and they're looking towards the Sangat, there's a Sikh there called Baba Ram Koir. And they're basically the great grandson of Baba Buddha Ji who many of us may know of, a Mahan Guru Sikh from the time of Guru Nanda Ji Maharaj who actually carried the ceremony of Guru Gaddi being passed on from Guru Nanda Ji to Guru Angad Dev Ji all the way up to Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji Maharaj and the first Granthi Sikh within the city Haramandar Sahib as well. So Guru Sahib Ji gives Baba Ram Kaur these 52 hukams that we have now today and that we're going to share with you in the next 52 weeks. So what's great about this Sangha Ji is that you know sometimes we have a New Year's resolution and you know, it doesn't last that long, right? But this isn't like a New Year's resolution. This is like a weekly resolution. 
So every week we get a new thing that we can apply to our lives and help us get closer to the Guru. I know we've had that Pankti many times now. Charna Saran Guru Ek Panda Jai Chal Sat Guru Kod Panda Aage Hoi Leta Hai Which means if you take one step towards the Guru then Guru says he takes many steps towards you but now you'll be taking 52 steps towards the Guru every single week uh, one more week, one more step so instead of Guru says he's taking a uh, million steps towards us they'll be taking uh, 52 million steps towards us as well so it's a lot of blessings by doing this and you know sometimes we think why is this important but from each video hopefully we could take away something practical so for example on the third week if I remember correctly it's about Bani Kant Karni which means to get your Bani, your, the words of the Guru memorized so you may even try and get Japji Sahib memorized even one body within Japji Sahib Basant Ki Vaad which is a short Bani but if you don't know how to read Guru Bani go onto our YouTube channel and we have a Guru Mukhi playlist and learn the Pendi Akhar which means the 35 letters of the Guru Mukhi alphabet so you can even do that as well so we'll try and give you something practical to take away in order for us, even myself as well, to better our jivan and get closer to Guru Sahib Ji. And also tag us in as well. Let us know how you're going on in your journey as well throughout these 52 weeks. If you've got your Bani Kant, if you start giving this one to the Guru, there's many, many different hukums that we can apply to our lives. And by doing that, we can better our own life and better other, people's around, other people around us as well. So if you have any family and, family and friends as well, then tag them in as well. Allow them to join the journey with you and hopefully get closer to Guru Sabji as well. So that's just a basic introduction into the 52 weeks, 52 hukams, and weekly we're releasing a video going through one of the next hukams that Guru Sabji gives to us. So please forgive me for all the mistakes I've made in this video. Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vahe Guru Ji Ki if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Please donate and help spread Guruji's message. Link is in the description below. Vaheguruji ka khalsa, Vaheguruji ki fateh.